DNA is the uh, molecular instructions for life. So it holds all the instructions on how to make every living thing that exists in the world. It's a very long molecule. Um, it's, it's a, maybe you can look at it as, as a string. DNA is two nanometers in diameter, but you have nearly two meters of DNA in every single cell in your body. You have got two strings that sort of come together and they wind around each other. And on, the, on that string, you have got four different elements that you can array in, uh, in a certain arrangement. And they are called A, T, C and G. And we generally refer to them as DNA base pairs because they bind to each other in a, in a certain, in a specific way. DNA origami is a technology which takes DNA molecules and forgets that they have any form of uh, connection to life. It treats them purely as uh, a building material. So if you forget about everything to do with life in terms of, uh, of the DNA and, and try to, to exploit the only thing of the DNA that it can bind, that it can have two different strands and they can bind together in a programmable way. It allows us to start building shapes out of this by programming how these com uh, elements come together. We're now approaching the era in this field where all the applications are starting to emerge. Applications are relatively wide ranging. So if you can imagine you can make flat things, you can make an origami that is an entirely flat structure, um, but then you can also make three dimensional constructs from this. Some of the applications are in areas such as uh, building molecular structures, uh, but on the other scale, we're, we're, we're moving all the way into things such as um, diagnostics and medicine. My research uses DNA origami to sense circulating tumour DNA. My research is focused on uh, the crystallisation of different uh, uh, inorganic components. Now our application will use it for diagnostics. And it's quite, it's, I think what's really rewarding for me and very satisfactory is to really see that our technology has a direct impact on the, in the clinical setup. Imagine that you uh, can create objects out of DNA that you can put drugs inside of, so little boxes, essentially. And on the outside of the box, you have targeting agents which bind only to a cancer cell. So when you inject that into your body, this little box travels around and only when it reaches the cancer cell does the lid open and it release the drug at the target rather than the chemotherapy that we have nowadays, which attacks everything. And it's sort of still in the development stage and then when it, when it can actually be implemented in clinics and things like that, um, I think the impact will be quite, quite big. I find really exciting the fact that we can use DNA as a building object so that we can practically use it to uh, build up uh, uh, object on a nanometer scale, which is I like uh, quite difficult to do in uh, other ways. The DNA Origami Iris project is a very exciting, very interesting project which will give you loads of different skills, um, not only in computer science, but also in understanding the biology, but in thinking of things in terms of chemical engineering and the physics of how objects interact and work at, the, at these length scales.